Hey guys, again I apologize for the shaky camera. I got a tripod coming in the mail right now so the shakiness will be gone. Anyhow, this is probably one of my top craziest bargain finds yet. Uh, what you're looking at is an antique shop find actually. Uh, the antique shop owner bought an estate sale and I believe this must have belonged to an older collector that passed away. Um, what you're looking at is a Muhammad Ali uh, Gateway Stamp Company signed. Uh, it's a silk cachet. It's made to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Muhammad Ali winning the Olympic gold in 1960. Um, this was signed in 1990. As you can see, the postmark and everything like that. Uh, the company is very legit. They do presidential signing, stuff like that. I've got the COA with it. I've had it hammered by other companies. I even had it hammered by the Muhammad Ali, one of the foremost authorities on this stuff. And he said, yep, it's real. But in 1990, for $400, if you ordered this off the website, all you got was the envelope here and the COA. Um, so this was framed. I paid $175 for this all in. Actually, my wife did because it was a gift to me. You can't even get the framing for $175. Like, that's professionally framed back in the day. He had a picture put in, a nameplate added. Like, he had it done proper. And the poor guy passed away, I'm assuming. And I'm just glad that it's in a nice home now. Uh, they did two runs of these. I believe they were 10000 And I got it from the first run. The earlier run. He did one, I think, a couple days later. A month later, whatever. But I got the first run. But legit, Muhammad Ali signed in 1990. Hundred and seventy five dollars guys now before I did this Before I pulled the trigger. I did the homework to make sure it's real There are tons of Muhammad Ali fakes out there and just because something has a certificate of authenticity does not mean that it is real Anybody can put out a COA in fact I seen stuff on a classified ad a Bruce Lee autograph that had warning signs, it had a COA that came from a forensic um, examiner, and I googled the guy's name, and he was all over Google that he would certify everything, and he was banned from eBay, and yeah, I messaged the seller, told him all about it, and he ignored me and kept the ad up, so clearly he knew something about it, but be very careful buying autographs, guys, uh, PSA DNA is probably the leader. I've seen Beckett screw up a lot. I've seen all of them make mistakes. Even PSA DNA makes mistakes. The best autographs are ones like this, where there's a representative there that witnesses the autograph. You know it's 100% legit. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, take care. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your craziest bargain finds were. I always like to hear what people find in the wild. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way I can keep the good content coming and invest more in the channel. And yeah. Anyway guys, happy hunting.